Hör mal auf. <lacht> <lacht> Liebe Klasse, ich möchte euch mal jemanden ganz besonderen vorstellen, ohne die, den dieses Projekt nämlich überhaupt gar nicht möglich wäre. Und zwar ist das Ron Jones, der Originallehrer, der damals das Experiment durchgeführt hat. Big pleasure for us, Ron. So me, yeah, yeah. me, I'm you. We yeah. look a little bit alike, don't we? <laughs> Is this? Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. So we have the same haircut. We, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, I know me too. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. No, that's true. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> well, it's a real honor and pleasure to be here. I was supposed to say the exact same things I said last time, so you can edit that out. <laughs> it's, like, it's like trying to be professional, but I, Again, I, I love the fact of being here and meeting you. Honestly, for me, it's like seeing ghosts. I mean, I was teaching in 1967 in a classroom that looked almost just like this, not as modern, but your faces were just like that. They're, you're kind of like flowers, really. You're beautiful, and I get to see you. So I'm now seeing those lovely individuals I had as students. I had this Doug Warnock who sat over there, and he was one of my basketball players, and he was always stumbling over his desk. And I, and I had Aline Levine and Wendy Brody, they were sitting up front. They were the bright, bright, bright students, you know, the kind that take over every classroom. And I had the Steve the Coniglio, he sat in the corner back there, and he was the, kind of like the class comedian. So, <laughs> where is he now? He must be here someplace. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> well, we need that in life. I mean, this is what makes life wonderful. We're all different, and we're all unique, and we all have something to offer, the companionships that we have. So it's, it's lovely for me to be here and to see you and remember the moment when I taught The Wave, which was a long time ago. Um, and I, I'm a poet, so I do poetry. And uh, maybe I'll do you a poem. Would that be a, a gift? Yeah. yeah, I'll do a poem. Let's see. Can I do that? Is that right? OK. This is a, the poem. It's called uh, Birds. I got birds. Living in my backyard, got birds <laughs> living in my backyard. Brown birds, blue birds, yellow birds, red birds. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I got birds living in my backyard. Love my backyard, you know. They love to do loop de loops off those warm currents of air, fly on top of my roof, kick gravel on my head. These birds eat those snails that leave trails. Of course, you don't understand English so well, so I'll just try to act it out. Birds, they love my backyard. Well, everything was copacetic. That means fine. Until one day my neighbor, Mr. Arthur P. Anderson, placed upon his deck a blue pool of water. Well, you know, those little bluebirds, they thought it was their water. Yeah. Every morning they lined up.